safety, security, and holding. And I want to talk about these themes in the context of the fact that none of us are safe or secure, ultimately. I mean, we don't get out of this alive, right? And so that talking about the felt sense of safety or of a holding, um, and when I say holding, I mean holding, this kind of holding, um, not holding. And so talking about the theme and thinking through the theme of, of safety and security and holding as a felt sense in the body and the import of that m kind of must happen in, in um, deep meditation practice in the context of knowing that, you know, we're not in control and ultimately uh, if safe means coming out of this alive, like we're not safe, right? There could be a meteor hurtling at us, etc. We all know the possibilities for not being safe, right? And so um, that ultimate knowing shouldn't preclude us from actively seeking to look at um, look at embodying these qualities of safety and security. And there's a couple reasons for it. I mean, one of one of them is the, the psychological impact and just in our lives, if we're able to attune to an inner sense of safety, like being safe with yourself or a feeling held, be, feeling held by life or held by um, nature or whatever it is. These are important qualities to be able to embody and focus on in meditation because as we do that, then it's easier to actually let go when we're facing something scary or something terrifying, um, both in the meditation practice and in life. And so I see these as related, the, the practice of learning to feel safe inwardly, held, secure, well-being, whatever ease, whatever words you want to use, while also opening more and more towards where can I let go? Like, where am I holding on? in in my meditation practice or in my life that actually if i have more of an inner sense of safety and well-being i may more like be more likely to let go um, or face what seems hard to face so in meditation you know i i remember having some fear about certain certain um, letting go of certain identities or having the identity kind of drop off, <laughs> whether, whether we actively like let it go or it lets go of us. And then, and then the reorientation that can happen, and this will continue to happen for me, but I just remember certain times where it's happened, where when there's that reorientation, you kind of feel like an astronaut out in space and the line's been cut and there you are kind of floating out there. And having had a practice where you're able to really um, encounter and embody these qualities of, of well-being, of ease, of safety, security, of holding, can be extremely helpful when we're asked or invited to face our challenge. So this can be on every level. So just as meditations on every level, it can be uh, going into a social situation it, it, with anxiety, it can be um, something that you're facing in yourself around a core identity that you're kind of holding on to that feels safer to be with rather than face the possibility of having it kind of fall off. Um, or, or that you're somehow participating in an act of letting go. So as with so much of the teaching that I'm finding myself doing, I feel there's this paradox, right? This kind of a balance between letting go um, and then being able to engage in something that that's actively embodying safety and well-being. Um, if you think of, you know, many of the insights, meditative insights that come, I mean, often they'll happen, you know, when you're in an environment where you feel extremely free or relaxed in your body. I mean, sometimes they can happen when you're under stress, for sure. But this relaxation in the body is really key to the meditative journey. So um, 
I wanted to focus on that tonight. And so we'll do a practice where, where we're looking to embody some of those qualities. And then we're also looking like, where am I holding on? And so you might want to inquire now before we go into the practice, like you might not see something very obvious that you're holding on to in this moment. Um, but you could ask yourself, where is there an invitation for me to kind of let go? And is that at an identity level, at an emotional level, at thought level? Um, and it may be kind of like a, a somatic invitation where you don't really exactly know, but there's some kind of invitation towards, towards opening, letting go, towards stepping into the unknown in some way. Um, and when we do that, having the practice of feeling safe, you know, it can be a more easeful process, especially when we know that ultimately, you know, we know the ultimate truth too, as, as I said at the beginning. So it's all held in that context of, it's kind of radical, this whole path of meditation, especially the work of Yoga Nidra. But I like doing it where we allow ourselves to actually feel held, um, connected, sense of belonging, sense of safety, all these like basic needs that we have to be human. And so um, we'll, we'll approach it from that angle. Let me see if there was anything else. Yeah, and I also like the idea when we get to the holding part, um, you know, if you think of just even metaphorically how the earth is held by space, you know, that's what I'm talking about, that kind of holding. You could consider your body held by the space around it, or um, you could consider an actual holding, like if anyone's ever done Watsu, where they kind of slowly move you through water, you know, with your head above water, or, um, you know, been in a hammock, or... Um, with someone or any animal, you know, there's this this holding quality that we can actually invite into the felt sense that can um, bolster our inner life so that it's easier to face the the challenge and the and turn toward the letting go that's wanting to um, be asked of us. So any questions before we get into the practice? It sounds kind of heavy, I guess, but I like to make it. Um, yeah, a, a practice that is relatively lighthearted in the sense it's just an exploration and we get to see what happens and um, yeah, any, any questions before we get in? Okay, wonderful. Well, um, how about we settle in then? So feel free, you can have your video on or off. Um, most people turn them off and find a comfortable position where you're lying down and you're supported to go into um, what could be a deep state of relaxation and <clears throat> as you're getting settled in I always like to invite that you know anything that I've shared take what resonates with you and let go of what doesn't even as we do the guidance if there's a certain particular um, part of the yoga nidra that isn't resonating, then just let my voice kind of go into the background and do your own inquiry. So this is very much self-directed in that sense. One of the benefits of yoga nidra is that because we're lying down during the practice, our body can more naturally inhabit these states of relaxation, of ease, of well-being, and of holding. So we'll use that um, position tonight to be able to um, inquire. So we'll do the full meditation practice and we'll begin. So as you're settling in, can you find yourself at least just a little bit more comfortable than you are right now? So you can adjust your shoulder blades down your back. You can... Um, place a bolster underneath your knees or get a blanket, whatever it is that you need to feel just completely supported to go into a meditation. <clears throat> and we'll begin with five breaths in and out. 
So inhaling to the count of one and exhaling to the count of two. And we'll do that for five breaths. Just follow your own breath in and out. Just begin by allowing whatever has come before this moment, so anything else that happened throughout the day, can you allow that to fade into the background as you continue kind of riding the wave of the breath in and out? setting an intention for this practice so it may be to work with something specific and it may be just to follow along and experience whatever happens but no matter what it is just allow yourself to take a moment and inwardly set that intention You may notice that as we begin the practice, your body very quickly goes into a state of rest or relaxation. That's no problem. You can even go in and out of states of sleep. This isn't um, taboo in Yoga Nidra. That's perfectly welcome. The point is just allowing yourself to be aware as the body begins to fall asleep and wakes up and just bringing a consciousness to the process of meditation here. So continue to gently extend the exhalation. This just allows the parasympathetic wing of the nervous system to do its thing, rest and digest. As you extend the exhalation, the focus is really, it's like you're riding the wave of the breath out and then the in-breath comes naturally, no forcing. And then you just ride the wave of the breath out. And we begin by opening the senses, having all of the senses open at the same time, taste, smell, sight, sound, touch. Feeling your body as a, a feeling organ so that you're just sensing just feeling coming down from the the mind the forehead so maybe with the next exhalation bringing attention down to the heart and then out into the whole body you can do that a few times with the inhale coming naturally to the crown of the head and then exhale, bring attention and energy down, exhaling into the heart and then out into the whole body, fingertips and toes. And then as you breathe in and out, let your focus be on the whole body at once, breathing. We'll move toward a body scan, but first let's do a focused practice on building this resource of safety, um, security, or holding, ease. 
of these words, if there's one word that resonates for you, then choose that one or create your own. What we're doing at the beginning of the meditation practice is bringing this foundational element of feeling a sense of inner safety, security, well-being, or even the feeling of being held. And I say being held because it allows the body to relax and let go. So perhaps let's start there. What is it like to invite feeling of being held? Any images may come to you, times in your life when you've been held and you've felt supported to relax entirely. Or maybe it's in your imagination. But allowing any images or memories and then the felt sense of being held to be invited into the felt sense of the body. Notice as your nervous system, perhaps your exhalation continues to extend and your nervous system and body just kind of melt or relax a little bit into this holding and you could feel it as a holding presence. You could feel the space holding you, nature holding you, life, or a specific memory or image, a person or being next to an animal. floating in water, whatever the image is that comes to you. Notice what's evoked in your body as you consider the quality of being held. Maybe a feeling of ease, of safety, feeling secure. But we'll just breathe here in and out, exploring the felt sense of being held. As you do so, Perhaps allowing any images or memories to fall away and remain with the firsthand experience in your body of holding. Notice what it feels like all around the border of your body, in the center and periphery, even relaxing into the surface that now supports you. Feeling the holding of the surface against the back of your head, your back, backs of your legs, your heels. So what would it be like to allow yourself to simply feel this holding and then any accompanying feelings of safety or ease or security. Just a feeling that you could really let go or almost kind of a surrender feeling in a good way. No need to hold on in this moment. So as you do so, you may scan your body and check to see are there any places indeed that you are holding. And if so, can you bring some of this quality of feeling to the, that tension, feeling it held? And as you do so, perhaps it releases, relaxes, melts into this holding presence.
affirm inwardly that you could return to this exploration with holding and safety at any moment during this practice or throughout your life when something comes up and you'd like to return and connect with this feeling of safety and ease. Let this be an anchor for you. Just getting the the energetic signature in your body, somatic signature. And honoring any places that feel the opposite of this, so we're not imposing, we're simply inviting and exploring. We're including everything. So feel now the entire backside of your body as you breathe in and out with three breaths. Just let the breaths gently and easily flow in, flow out as your attention is rested in the whole backside of your body. Now bring attention to the whole front side of your body. And taking three long, slow breaths in and out, face, chest, belly, tops of legs and feet. Sensing the whole front side of your body, just breathing in and out. So there's no agenda here. We're simply exploring the felt sense and the breath. There's no correct way to do this. So kind of let go of thinking and allow yourself to make an exploration at the level of the body, bringing attention to the whole left side, left side of your face and head, left arm and hand, left leg and foot, and breathe in and out for three breaths. attention now to the whole right side of your body, the right side of your face and head, right arm and hand, right leg and foot. Taking three breaths in and out, feeling the whole right side of the body. So do that again, just taking a couple of breaths, feeling the whole back side of your body. Now the whole front side of your body. the left side of your body. And the right side of your body. Now sense your entire body at once, taking three deep Inhales and exhales, whole body globally.
you find yourself thinking, you can allow with an exhalation attention to draw down from the forehead into the heart and then out into the whole body. There's no need to feel relaxed. So if the opposite is present, simply turn attention toward whatever is present, whether that's a busy mind or a tense body. And as you turn attention toward what is here, notice it may begin to shift, get tighter, it may release. So we're just inquiring with whatever's in our experience in this moment. I do a body scan as I name body parts, simply notice the felt experience. You may feel nothing, you may feel tingly or uh, some kind of a vibratory aliveness, whatever's present. Beginning with the jaw. Just even as I name the jaw, you may find there's kind of this spontaneous release of tension. Sensing the tongue, the back of your tongue, cheeks, both ears, sensing both ears simultaneously. You feel the breath coming and going. through the nose or the mouth. And then sense both eyes simultaneously. And then the forehead, crown of the head, back of the head, in the back of the neck, there may be little tiny muscles that are holding your head away from the surface that supports you. It's just as you notice any holding, it may spontaneously release. Perhaps feeling that holding quality. Notice if that aids in relaxing any unnecessary tension in your head, face, neck. Now since both shoulders with an inhalation and exhale, sense both arms and the palms of both hands. As you breathe in and out, sensing both arms, both hands. Letting go of thinking, simply feeling. Maybe like a an aliveness or a tingling in the palms of the hands. Body may go in and out of states towards sleep and wake. Feeling your whole torso now. Noticing the belly rising and falling with the breath, chest rising and falling. Feeling how it's like the body is breathing itself. Sensing both hips with an inhalation. 
and exhale, sensing both legs and feet. So as you breathe in and out, all of your attention is focused on both legs, both feet. You may feel like a tingling or a buzzing or a radiance of sensation, energy moving in the legs and feet, or numbness, whatever is present, no problem. Just being with your experience. Inviting now the entire body into awareness. 360 from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Front and back, left and right sides. Breathing in and out. And the felt sense of your entire body at once. You may have an image of your body. And then allow the image to fade away. And you're left here with this aliveness feeling. And the energy and quality of just being. As you breathe in, breathe out, perhaps inquiring, can you find a center? Can you find the periphery? Or is there a sense of deep space, spaciousness, and deep holding presence that seems perhaps to permeate everywhere? Sensing that even this quality of holding, of safety and ease, as you may feel it in this moment in your body, how in a way it's not personal, it's just present, permeating everywhere, unique to you, but also not distinct from the space around you. So let yourself Continue to follow the breath in, the breath out. You may continue to ride the wave of the breath out in an extended exhalation. Sensing the body head to toe, space around the body. There may be a quality of deep ease present Whatever's here for you, simply being with what you come upon. There's nowhere we're getting to here. This is a, just a meditative inquiry process. Being with what's here. And from this place, if it feels right, inquiring, is there any place that I am holding on emotionally to some emotion that there's a way that I'm not letting go of something that may have kind of lived itself out in me. So just inquiring inwardly, is there any place emotionally through a memory or 
just the felt sense of an emotion like a holding on there could be an invitation where I could let go or there could be a letting go where There could be a feeling of anxiety or some emotion attached to a memory. That's kind of obscuring your experience. And if so, just a gentle invitation is to encounter that emotion. Just see if there's like a letting go that happens. So we're not dismissing or denying, but just simply seeing more clearly, resting more in this feeling of ease and holding, not needing to focus or cling on to emotion or memory. So whatever comes to you in your psyche in this moment, just trust that. Lean into the felt exploration of it. And maybe checking to see is there a place where Perhaps there's actually a holding on to fear as a way to defend against this radical openness, the lack of being in control. If so, just honoring where there's a holding on. Also, if there's enough resource here, just allowing this fear or whatever it is to be faced and turned toward. Your body may go in and out of states of sleep or deep relaxation. And the inquiry is where are places that there's an invitation to let go? On any level of experience from emotions to identity And then the invitation is to simply lean in. Having this body felt sense of the safety that's here as the letting go happens. Noticing the quality of the space spaciousness inside the body, outside the body. And perhaps pairing that with a feeling of comfort, of ease and of safety. Resting here, just, just as you are in this moment, the breath coming and going, 
Maybe he's still doing that breath practice of riding the wave in, riding the wave out. As you feel the full body globally. And like a holding presence or a feeling of holding. As you do so, you may feel these qualities of being non-local, so not being able to necessarily completely locate yourself in time and space, something that might seem scary, but in this moment might feel natural, safe. the body reality or the body feeling of that. Letting go of the need in this moment to kind of reconstitute, but just letting there be this openness, spaciousness, Noticing any particular feeling tones at the heart, perhaps a sense of equanimity or joy, perhaps like a deep joy that comes from this feeling of, of openness. There may even be images that come to you in association with the feeling at the heart. or other qualities that you may inwardly name. But welcoming any of these qualities toward equanimity, joy or peacefulness. Just allowing ourselves to hang out with these qualities. Again, always welcoming if the opposite arises. So even in the feeling of deep safety, we can welcome the feeling of unsafety, the feeling of uncaused joy. We can welcome feelings of sorrow and sadness. In the quality of equanimity, we can welcome a feeling of being up and down. So perhaps now feeling into the whole backside of your body and this kind of radical welcoming of the fullness of your experience. Allowing these different opposites of feelings to be able to come and go. But resting back into this deeper witnessing awareness, this quality of being that's here, kind of just intrinsic to who you are. letting that be more than enough for this moment as you rest here, breathing in and out. So 
as you rest here, there may be various images or memories that appear just from the unconscious to be welcomed, to be seen momentarily. So if that happens, just welcome and be with and allow just these different contents of the unconscious to arise and be mad and welcomed in this kind of embracing presence, this holding presence. Maybe specific images or memories, it may be archetypal images, whatever is here in the psyche, just allowing. And then still resting and relaxing back into the whole backside of your body into a long exhalation this holding and how the surface is supporting you and in turn just your very being is supporting the fullness of you to be present nothing left out Before we close, just asking inwardly, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged, seen, or welcomed in this moment? It could be anything at all. An image, a memory, an emotion, a color, shape, form. Insight, whatever's here. trusting the wisdom of the body and asking, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment? Maybe just having a moment of gratitude for taking the time to be here and to care in this way. So you may you find yourself in a deep state of relaxation where you don't want to move too quickly. So feel free to go very slowly You can begin to move your fingers and toes if it feels right, but if that's too much, just stay right where you are. There's no rush. Allowing your knees to come in toward your chest and perhaps rolling off to one side. Just at your own pace. We have all the time in the world. There's no rush here.
to be able to have a few moments of sharing and reflections um, 